it's good to be back with you. Uh, some of you know because you follow us on Facebook and some of the others of you uh, may not know that <laughs> my husband again uh, got sick. Actually, he was only out of the hospital for uh, four or five days. And um, I, we still don't know why, but he began to uh, throw up. And it didn't take very long, just a few days of this, a couple days of this. And he was dehydrated and very weak because he was already weak from all that he had been through. And so, yes, he was readmitted to the hospital last Wednesday. And he was released on Saturday. And he is doing well. Um, he's getting stronger and yes, this has really been a battle for us, but the Lord has been with us and uh, We're not the only ones going through such things I Have been in communication with many people who are also going through many trials many very hard deep trials with sicknesses and finances and relationships and just all kinds of things court battles just all kinds of things so we know that the enemy is raging wildly and uh this morning as i um in my prayer time and in my spiritual warfare time <laughs> because we're really having to uh fight double double time right now aren't we uh <laughs> and even the enemy last night uh I think he, you know, uh, kind of visited me in a dream last night and threatened me again. But you know what? I'm not afraid. I'm trusting in the Lord. I know that, uh, I know the devil don't like me and that's okay. If he did like me, then I would have a problem, right? I would not be walking where God wants me to walk if, if I'm walking with the enemy and if he likes me. And, you know, uh, these are dark times and the enemy is raging wildly and that happens to be the title of the word that the Lord gave me. The Lord has been encouraging me, but it's not only for me, it's for you as well. And so I'm going to go ahead and read that word to you right now. Um, it says, The enemy rages wildly, but you, my children, are in the palm of my hands. Many troubles, many trials, many distractions seemingly many setbacks come to you from every direction do not be dismayed by my little ones those that have no god wring their hands saying what shall we do but you my little ones shall be my gods through darkness let your hearts rest steadfast in your god i laugh at your enemy his time shall end very soon Soon the whole world shall know of my great love and power. They will look at you with wide eyes, saying, Who is this God that they serve? Soon, my children, your enemy shall be crushed underneath your feet. So do not be discouraged. Trust me in all things. Those who serve their father Satan shall be put to shame. Their evil ways will be made known. They think that they are in control and that they serve the great power. They shall soon see the weakness of the one that they have chosen to follow. My enemies shall be scattered. Their time is short. My dearly loved ones, resist your enemy. Reject his lies. Rise above his distractions. There is peace and joy in my presence. Come close to me, my little ones. Drink from the well of my wells of my presence. Be still in my presence. Turn your attention toward me. I will share the secrets of my heart with you. I shall make all things known to you, my beloved. I will reveal my love and power to you. I will become I will become one with you as you seek to become one with me. Come, my children, dine at my table. Delight in me as I delight in you. I will replace all fear with faith. I will replace all weakness with strength. I will replace all anxiety with peace. I will replace all sadness with joy. Come to the waters of my presence and drink. Am I not greater than the one who wars against you? Let your faith arise. My love is a shield to you. Praise the Lord. Father God, Lord, we just thank you, Lord, 
Father, all the things that we go through, and yes, Lord, we know that uh, that darkness is rising, Lord, and we know that there's a battle going on between the forces of darkness and the forces of light. But Lord, we are not afraid because, Lord, we are centered in you. Lord, you are our hope, you are our joy, you are our peace. Lord, you are our everything, Lord, and we praise your holy name. We thank you, Lord, and God, I ask that you would strengthen all my brothers and sisters today, Father God, in you, Lord. Lord, teach them to come to you, Lord, to drink, to drink of your waters, God, to be strengthened, Lord, in your presence, God. Lord, teach them, teach me, teach all of us your ways, Father, more and more each and every day, Lord. But, Lord, we just say to you, Lord, we love you and we trust you, God. And we are not moved by the enemy. We are not moved by any of his tactics or any of his antics against us, Lord. And, Lord, we thank you, Lord, because we know that you go before us and you fight each and every battle for us, Lord. And we praise you for that right now. We love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. We just love him so much. He's so good, isn't he? Well, you guys know that we are in the last of the last days, and the darkness is just like the Word of God says. The darkness is increasing. We see it all over the place. We see hatred and murder and violence, satanic rituals, satanic worship everywhere. In our schools, even, everywhere, we see the rise of darkness upon the face of the earth, just as the Word of God said it would, and it's going to continue. But, guys, listen, God has a remnant. Amen? He has those that, that He has trained and equipped. He has those that love Him, that will do anything for Him, that are radically sold out. God has a remnant. And many times, you know, we don't know who we are ourselves as well as the devil knows who we are because he can see he can he can see us in the realm of the spirit he can see the armor upon us and he can see our weaponry i believe that he can see our gifts and he can see the angels that surround us that god has given to us to help us to accomplish the things that he has called us to accomplish in these last days and guys this is the time for the the for the fruition the harvest, the fruition of the evil seeds that has been planted and the good seeds that has been planted in the earth. It's the time when all of these things are coming to harvest. And it's just the beginning of it. And yes, there'll be a great harvest of souls that come in. And that's the good seeds that's been planted. That's part of the good seeds that's been planted. And we're going to see a lot of different things. A lot of different things. But we know... We know that the Lord is with us. We know that that He has equipped us, and He's, he's continuing to train us and to equip us. And uh, He's, you know, He has many, and we're all on different levels. And I've said that before. And there's there's people coming into the kingdom right now, are just now being born again. That they're going to be mighty, mighty warriors in God's kingdom. Many that are just babies right now, but they're going to be mighty, mighty warriors. And God is going to do quick works in people, and He's going to He's going to bring people to maturity quick. But the Lord wants us to know, guys, that we we can't give up and we can't quit, and we can't get discouraged, and we can't backslide. You know, we have to keep on keeping on for the Lord. We have to keep on uh, pressing into Him in this Word. You know, He's asking us to come into His presence and. Guys, we know that, that God dwells on the inside of us. But what he is talking about here is, is paying attention to him, focusing on his presence, tuning everything else out. The way I enter into God's presence many times is I shut my eyes so that I'm not distracted by any, anything. I remove myself from, from things that distract me, and I just shut my eyes, and I begin to focus on him. I begin to worship him and talk to him. And, uh, and instantly, I mean instantly, I'm in his presence. His presence engulfs me. It surrounds me. So it's just a matter of acknowledging God. It's, it's a matter of focusing in on, because he's always there. 
but acknowledging him and focusing in on him so that you can have communion with him so that uh, we can hear him and uh, listen to his heart and, and just spend and talk to him in a very focused manner. And uh, when we do, we receive his joy, we receive his peace, he speaks to us, he gives us revelation, he gives us knowledge and understanding, and, and our spirit is strengthened. And there, you know, there's other ways also, I mean, even when we read the word, we should do it in God's presence. You know, in other words, we should include God in on our Bible study time and we should ask him to reveal the word to us to give us revelation and take time when you're reading you know don't just read really fast but read read some and then take time to uh, meditate on it and to ask God questions about it and allow him to to help you to understand what that means and how to apply it to your life and uh, just you know guys just keep on keeping on you know, resist the devil, re resist his lies, you know, don't give in to uh, discouragement, don't give in to fear when those things begin to press in on you, when, bat when things go wrong, and yes, you know, everybody experiences troubles and trials, the Lord did not promise us that we would not, but he did promise us to be with us and to help us through all of those times, so... Go to the Lord. You know, don't just be depressed or discouraged. You know, when you first feel darkness pressing in on your mind, go to the Lord. That's your inheritance. You know, we, we have that. We can go to Him and we can dine from His table. We can drink of His Spirit and be strengthened and encouraged instantly. You know, we don't, we do, we are supposed to encourage each other, but we don't even have to rely upon that. We can encourage ourselves in the Lord by going to the Lord and letting Him do it for us. Well, that's all I have for now. God bless you guys. I love you. I did receive a couple more words this morning, and I will be sharing those as soon as possible. And I am still trying to, <laughs> trying to get to those last couple teachings in the series on spiritual warfare. Well, God bless you guys. I love you. Bye-bye.